hello everyone welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by so my people on the yoruba nation matter sunday boho has won tunubu government against intimidating british envoy over petition this was some hours after the british envoy said that yoruba nation petition is not uk government matter but nigeria government matter that they should go back to nigeria and solve their issues that uk will not meddle in nigeria issues my people hey hey kush nigerians have been reacting saying that uk doesn't have anything to do with nigeria matter especially when it comes to separation that how is it possible that uk is going to help yoruba nation to separate from nigeria know you fully aware that nigeria is just like a business for british my people but yoruba nation they have come out as well you know claiming that uh, before 2023 election that almost all the presidential candidates like they went to uk to present their manifesto to tell british like what they want to do for nigeria and nigeria that uk has a lot to do with nigeria and nigerians because they are the one that join nigeria together so if nigerians want to separate i think it's them that are going to you know separate them as well so this is what a yoruba nation is saying this is the reason why sunday bohu gave warning to tunubu government to stop intimidating uk because according to them it's nigeria government that forced uk to make that statement my people so in all this i believe that it's going to be very very difficult for uk to help the yoruba nation to separate from nigeria because Nigeria is just like a business for them. So how is it possible that they're going to use their hand to support their own business? So I don't see that happening, my people. But if there is any place like Biafra or Yoruba nations supposed to go and submit their petitions, I believe that UN is a right place, which I believe that Biafra, they are doing that already. But my people, I don't know what you think about all this. Let me allow you guys to just listen to this, our brother, and hear what he said concerning this matter as well. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section after you watch this video and subscribe if today is your first time please help me to share the video to your friends and family so that they will get opportunity to watch the video don't forget to give me thumbs up as well thanks so much for doing so my people yes it is very interesting that the united kingdom has rejected the letter given to it by the urban nation the urban nation agitators went to united kingdom and gave them a letter informing them of their willingness to exit out of nigeria and few hours the united kingdom gave a reply and that reply for those that are asking for evidence the reply you can see that reply all over twitter on social media they said that they are not interested with the division of nigeria it is not their business that the urban nation agitators should take the letter back to the nigerian authorities that what the UK, the United Kingdom is interested in is bilateral trade, even seeing Nigeria as a prosperous country as they engage in bilateral trade, which tells you that they are more interested in milking Nigeria and Nigeria become slaves to them than Nigerians becoming free. On the other part, I believe that the European nation agitators, they are playing a game, a serious game. See. I have never trusted these people for once. Never have I trusted them. There's a reason to that. When Tunubu got into power, he suddenly released Sunday Igboho. Sunday Igboho, through his support for Tunubu, he said it openly that they should leave Tunubu's government, that Buhari did worse. He went silent. The Biafran agitators continued in their quest asking for a sovereign state, asking for Biafra liberation. They were consistent. So that it will not look as if that the Yorubas are not doing something. All of a sudden, we saw what happened in Ibadan. When some people wanted to take the Yoruba political seat of power hostage with cutlass and machete and some little, little rifles. I now saw that these people were not serious. One Abiola declared Yoruba nation and ran away. These people were not serious. Now, I said before that the president is using Mazin and the Kanu to no negotiate power with uh, Tunubu's second term as a president. He knows, Tunubu knows that he has messed up. That is not the choice Nigerians want. If you want to check that out, the only people that are supporting Tunubu are on social media and those that have a direct 
uh, they are benefiting directly from the government, whether they are local government chairman employees or having one contract or having brother or sister in anything be belonging to an EGBE where they get money, stipends from the government. These are the people that are supporting the presidency of Bola Metodou. But on the street, he does not have street value. People are not supporting him. Even the die-hard APC supporters are insisting that they will never vote. If they see a better candidate, they will vote out Tinubu. But if they have Tinubu and uh, Obi, they will never vote for even anybody. They will just not come out to vote. The die-hard APC because they are disappointed in Tinubu. Now, for the Yoruba nation to negotiate Tinubu's second tenure, they have to put fear in the minds of Northerners. And I got a reply. I got a reply. Yes, a Northerner had gave a reply, and that reply came as a result of the not afraid that the Yoruba nation would join Bia France to exit out of Nigeria. Because Nigeria's unity benefits the Fulani the most because they have nothing to offer in Nigeria. So the Yoruba nation, the elite in the Southwest, they are using that as a card to play on the minds of the Yoruba nation. I said it before that Namne Kanu is a chess, is a chess uh, uh, that Tinubu is going to use to secure his second term if the North wants to go haywire. If the North wants to change it for the president, he is going to use the release of Maznam the Kanun and Yoruba Nation agitation to put them in check. I want to read what a Northerner said. And this is a popular person in the North. He served under Buhari and he had this to say. So he was angry, calling those that, uh, he said that as if we were still under colonial rule, Certain unpatriotic individuals, that's why he called the Yoruba Nation agitators, submitted a petition to the United Kingdom government seeking separation from our great nation. Look at the word he used. Great nation, Nigeria. Good to see that the UK responded that the matter is not their concern, but rather the business of our own government and legislator. Legislature, yes. So that's what the UK told. That's what this daughter is tweeting. This is existence of fear. They are afraid they are going to have Biafra. But yet, that's not the story. If you look at the reactions on this man, it was something else. They went ballistic on this Nortana. And they said all sorts of things against him. Another one is an Igbo man on Twitter from Abia State, who is an APC supporter. He called the Yoruba agitators nuisance his name is in on twitter pastor kezi he called yoruba nation agitators nuisance look at the reply he got for those that are looking for receipts you can get the receipt on twitter look at the reply he got they said uipob you see this is somebody that supports apc and is a diehard fan of the apc but now that he is kicking against the nonchalant attitude of the Yoruba nation agitators this one did not sit well with his APC goons they now started tagging him IPOB that's a message to every Igbo person if you think that you are supporting the APC and they don't see you as an IPOB just you are fooling yourself you're one of the biggest fools of this century of 2024 everybody who has an Igbo identity whoever that person is you are seen as an IPOB. So they rain courses on him. They called him IPOB. That they know his agenda. Irrespective of the fact that he has joined Yorubas to denigrate his brothers, the Igbos. He's a die-hard supporter, fan of Tunubu, the APC. And he supports the Yorubas carnage. When Yorubas are abusing and destroying the image of Igbos, he's in full support. He does not take sides with Igbos. But yet, at this point that he called all of them nuisance, Look at the attack he got. They called him an IPOB. What does that tell you? There is a gang up against what we call the emancipation of different countries in Nigeria. The status quo wants to remain. Tunubu wants to keep himself in power and is ready to go at any length to keep himself in power. He has the likes of uh, Shore, he has the likes of uh, very dark money. He has like there are many of them. Renomokri, those are 
that are standing on the staying on that are standing on the middle those that are at the offense those that are in the defense those that are planted in the camp of the enemy those that are planted in ipub that's how he plays his game he wants to make sure that he completes his second term and this man knows how to do it very well so yoruba nation agitation we see it as a joke at this point in time i've come to that conclusion that the current people that are moving the motion for yoruba nation it is a joke you are playing with the intelligence of agitators there's only one through agitation which is now the biafran agitation which they are standing through to themselves although there are camps some people are planted to cause division in the midst of these people but beyond them this is an ideology that is part of the dna of an average Igbo man whether that person is lost or whether that person whether that person has come back to his senses every average Igbo man stands for Biafra. now let's look at this there's a threat an obedient he's an obedient uh, supporter supports Peter B because he stands with Peter B his Yoruba brothers hate him so much that they want to they threaten to unalive him look at the threat for those that are asking for receipts now you need to you'll be getting your receipt that's what we're doing now you'll be getting your receipt look at the receipt of the threat you can see what is being said by this person look at what is written he says no say i no tell you your obituary poster very soon you will die no traces as that mumu festus died now so you said they go your family must feel the pain that is a threat for someone that supports P2B. You can see how desperate these people are. On the other side, they are fighting the obedience. On the other side, they are against the agitators. They are fighting on two fronts to make sure that Tunubu stays as president. Because I told you before, Tunubu might be Nigeria's last ever president. Then guess who is the person that is sending these threats? Talabi Awudu conservative yoba realists when i talk about conservatives these guys i see them as terrorists by gods conservatives by gods i see them as terrorists you are threatening the life of somebody who supports a man of integrity a man that has proven track record because he is ego you want every other yoba person to hate, to hate him now the police has been tagged all the forces look at what happened to uh, legospedia he just disappeared in thin air they made sure that they hit the guy and the guy does not face anything because we know that we know for a sure those that are sponsoring this hate on the uh one of the biggest tribes in the world now the police should do their job that if they want to do we know that nigeria as a country the, the the law decides to catch up with who they want to catch up with at any point in time and they forget that international bodies news agencies people are watching all over the world so when nigeria gets treated as they behave at home don't be surprised that not only libya will treat nigerian players the way they treated them the last time more ill treatment is coming because nigeria as a country is behaving like a lawless society a lawless country much more they don't care leaders just look at your president the president traveled for two weeks vacation fell increased other leaders of other nations what would they be thinking is this a country like chinua achebe said there was a country so as we speak the uk has given us their stand their position on whatever uh that is concerned with the balkanization of nigeria they tell you that we are not interested go back to your legislature they know very well that the 1999 constitution does not capture referendum or does not give space for you to exit out of the country they know also very well united nations charter gave that provision but they will not point you towards that because they have a hidden agenda and some of our leaders are their puppet this raises a lot of concern also some of the people that are really responsible for the carnage for the evil that is going on in nigeria today 
Nigeria has not found its feet since they got independence, 1960. It has been from one issue problem to another, being controlled by international forces. You see, how would they install somebody? Somebody who has a case, somebody who has something that they, for instance now, if I have a case with somebody and that person wants to use that against me, it could make me do some things. Look at what the World Bank is saying, that this policy of Tunubu should continue for 15 years. That means Nigerian should go through this hardship for 15 good years. Nigerian should go through this hardship for 15 good years. They don't care if Nigerians are dying and they don't have alternatives. They are just telling our government what to do. That's why every little thing you see, Buhari go to United Kingdom, Trump goes to the United Kingdom, France and everything. They all have the people that tells them what to do in Nigeria. That's why we are pushing for this country that would change the status quo. Yoruba Nation agitators are not serious at the moment because if they were serious, we would have understood that you don't run agitation like that. They came out and started telling, this is how we do agitation. This is how we do this. This is how we do that. My brother, you don't do agitation like that. You don't beg the enemy. You emphatically tell your enemy what you want and you stand on it. You go to the United Nations and submit your letter to the United Nations General Secretary. That is where you have a law that protects you. Why the United Kingdom? Does the United Kingdom still colonize Nigeria? Or is it because we are part of Commonwealth? Are you dumb to, not to know that the position of the UK government does not support anything? When Namde Khan was in UK, he bashed, he blasted the United Kingdom, the government, the Queen, the King. He said all sorts of things against them because he knew that these people are against the progress of one of the biggest black nations that have unique, unique regions, unique countries in it. There's no country in Africa that can stand any of the Wazobia, the Aosas, the Igbo, the Yoruba, if they stay as different countries. These are unique entities that will show, they will shine the light of Africa on the world. But you see, the past that be don't want it. Release fires, Tungus fires for us, FBI. You are playing politics with the fires that you don't release because you believe that you can have an edge. Jonathan complained that Obama rigged the government, the, the election. Some people were asking questions how come would Obama rig the election? How possible would it be? If you know what they call geopolitics and exponential, you understand what I'm saying. Now, this the IRF that was glitched or shut down, whatever name you can call it, who has the technology, the IRF technology? Don't you think it's the United States? Don't you think it's a foreign body that can do that ma manipulation? They made sure you did your electoral process, electoral reforms using the IRF and beavers, and the other way around, they had to do what they needed to do to put who they needed to put that would do their bidding in power. At this point in time, we now know our enemies. But you cannot stop the moving train. What Biafra would come? Because I know that Yoruba Nation will not stay one week. I bet you, Yoruba Nation will never stay one week with the Fulani or the Hausa. It's just hypocrisy. It's just double standard. They will never attempt it. They are in Nigeria playing the cards and doing all sorts, all they can, because they have the Hausa's and Fulani to align with. And if that alliance breaks, they have no option that also shout on their own. Tinubu is building the Southwest. All sorts of machinery is in the Southwest. All sort of uh, infrastructure is in the Southwest. Southwest is positioning. The North, like I said before, needs access to the sea. So they need this alliance with the Southwest. So those that are calling for um, urban nation, Please, your leaders are not serious anymore. The UK has given their, their bluff. What is the next thing for them? All of a sudden, we see Sonic go, go do this one thing. At the end of the day, we don't see people that are genuinely interested in a nation. They are not genuinely interested in any nation. They are doing the beating of the powers that be to keep Tunubi in power for eight years. I said it before. Heaven and earth will fall down. Tunubu remains the president for eight years. And after eight years, 
the you receive the shock when i'm saying it now they say who is this small boy who is this one what do you know where have you been what have you seen that's what they will say that we, before our eyes we'll all be alive to see this happen you see this happen nigeria is still is still the world have are knowing what is happening the handwriting is on the wall it's on the wall people are reading it everybody's getting prepared like i said the other time i put out the evidence that the north are also say let's prepare for secession everybody's preparing their house the not are like helpless they really want to hold on to this part to make sure that they crush any idea of agitation that's why they are waiting patiently. They don't even allow Tunubu to do his second term. They want to just move Tunubu, put another person that will do their bidding and keep Nigeria together. And when they get into power, they will make sure that they crush any form of agitation. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Don't allow the North to take power 2020, 2031. If you allow the North to take power, first off, the Yorubas, the Southwest, will be treated the way Igbos have been treated for a very long time. Because of these actions, of their leader which is president bola metunubu the urbanization of all the positions juicy positions appointments majority of appointments from a particular region in a federal country and we we are practicing democracy much more we know that the north are tired of this alliance with the southwest they are looking for a possible alliance with the southeast but the Southeast are not interested. We cannot go back to our vomit. We are not double standard people. We stand on one thing and we move it. it. Even death cannot stop us from moving with what we believe in, so much belief in, a country that will bring liberation. For those that have not yet bought into the idea of the Biafran agitation, liberation, let me tell you one thing. There was a country and there will be a country. Those that are here saying, okay, I'm educated. Don't you think that the same problems we have in Nigeria will be reflecting on when we have different nations. See, it is better that you have these problems local than somebody else, a foreigner, a total stranger, comes into your bedroom and desecrates your bedroom. Let it be the family issue. Let it be a family issue. Let the elite in Igbo land, let it be a class thing in Igbo land. Let it be a class thing whereby the rich against the poor which is our problem in Nigeria. Truly, tribalism is not really a problem. Ethnicity is not really a problem. The people are just being played like pawns. They are used like Ludo. They are playing us like games. The real problem is the people at the politicians, the upper class and the lower class. So some people who are educated in quote believe that even if you have Biafra, it will still reflect in a new nation. Yet it is better that some Fulani retarded Mugu will not come and tell me what to do in my father's house. Somebody will not just give passage to a Fulani person, come into my farmland, kill people and go scot free. Arrest an Aosa person, a Northerner, in a police station in Lagos as a Yoruba person. The Northerner, if the Northerner is the one at fault and you arrest the Northerner, the Northerner will be ahead, have an edge over you. You can't lock up a Northerner just like that. In fact, you are the ones that even regret. They are shielded in any... So I cannot live in a country whereby a Northerner will kill a Yoruba person. Taking that person to the station, they settle it. It acts as if there's nothing. No reprisal attacks, no nothing. A Northerner can just offend you. He is not afraid of going to police because there's some people that are designate, designated by the system to bail him and he will still boast and still do the same thing again repeating where I do stay three times that the houses have unalived Yoruba people three different times at the end of the day nothing happened we were just they still would do it some people are even afraid so I can't stay in such a country with such people at all so the best thing is for us to move on the motion for a system it will get to a point when we are doing this advoc advocacy it will it will get to a point whereby we match action 
with our words so my people that is it i hope you guys had what this our brother said in this particular video which i would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section as always please if today is your first time don't forget to subscribe like this video share it as well thank you everyone for watching and i will see you guys in my next update goodbye for now Welcome to